Hey everyone, Matt here from Divi Framework and today I'm going to show you how to install accelerated mobile pages. So let's jump onto the screencast and we can get straight to it. So right here we have a website called Wine Business Solutions and currently when you go to the blog all those wine items are there, fantastic, but it's not going to Accelerated Mobile Pages. Now Accelerated Mobile Pages is a great way to get people able to see your site quickly. So I'm going to jump onto the dashboard now and simply go to Plugins and then what we're going to do is select that we're going to add a new plugin to the website. So I click Add New. And what we're now going to do is just type AMP, A-M-P, and click search. And then we end up with a couple of the items here that show up. Now the first one we want here is AMP for WordPress. And this is by Automatic. So I click install there, we want that one. And the other one I want is here glue for Yoast SEO and AMP. We also want that one. Now why do we want the two? Well, first of all, accelerated mobile pages for WordPress or AMP for WordPress, that will give us the basic functionality of AMP. But what Glue does is helps join the meta information where we've optimized our meta titles and tags and other information and helps that link up to the Yoast SEO plugin. So we're gonna install both of those. And once they're installed, of course we need to activate them. So I'm gonna click activate on there on accelerated mobile pages excellent so that is now activated and to check that I'm going to go to this blog post here and I'm just going to type AMP on the end of it just like that and push return and there we go we've got AMP now the great thing about glue is it allows me to set some of the colors and things like that so I'm going to click back there that's that area and now what I'm going to do is click activate for glue okay so I've got that activation taking place that's now done so now under SEO I have this new item here called AMP so I'm going to open that up now we're enabling this for posts and then under design you can upload images here so you can have a 32 pixel by 32 when a post doesn't have an image you can set a default image and what I'm actually going to do here is just get the colors uh, so I'm going to inspect that element there and I want to get the color out of it so let's find that that's right there copy that and I'm going to set my amp header color to be this one title color will be white text color uh, that can just be default link text color that can be default block quotes, extra CSS, that all looks okay. So I'm gonna click save changes and let's see what happens now. Excellent, so now we've got a colored header up the top. I've got accelerated mobile pages. That all looks really good. But I also want it to start showing up on the search appearance here under accelerated mobile pages. And currently we don't have that actually working here. So what I'm now gonna do is just say validate accelerated mobile page. Right, and it comes up with this URL. So I've got this first wine paper here. I copy that paste it in and say run test and this is just going to check am I getting a valid accelerated mobile page so it's analyzing 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 boom I'm missing an, an or invalid structure what's this but the page is amp valid so basically this is to do with structured data down here that's not going to be a problem it's, it's a suggested action so when you get that you can then test your structured data and it'll tell us what the problem is with the structured data Let's have a look at this. The logo field is required for the organization. Okay. Still got that missing item, but I know that I've fixed it. So that must just be a case of caching on that case. Because yeah, so now that I've opened that up and ran it again, we can see that we're actually getting zero errors. So that's fantastic. So that was just a cache. 
The page is now ready, so I'm gonna say submit to Google. This is now submitting this item for indexing, and as soon as you start that AMP indexing happening, it'll pick up the rest of the pages for you. Um, I only submit one in every case that I've had these, and that gets it all going. So what have we done here? Well, first of all, we installed the AMP for WordPress plugin, then we installed AMP Glue, we validated the page, we fixed a structured data issue, and now we've submitted the item to the Google index. This will now mean that next time we go into the search console, under AMP, the accelerated mobile pages will begin to show up, okay? And that's fantastic, because that means all these articles will have an accelerated mobile page version. Hey guys, well look, I hope you liked the video. That's how you set up AMP on WordPress. Now, if you liked the video, give us a thumbs up, and if you really like what we're doing on Diffy Framework, subscribe to the channel. I'll see you in the next video.